Okay. It's Mook with Stay Down Productions, right. man, and I'm rocking with Strictly Fames. I want to shout out to any blogger that's out there working. Just stay down, because it's all going to make sense later. Stay Down Productions. Okay. Can you, you know, please introduce yourself, you know, for the watchers and listeners? Of course, of course. Um, name Chris, uh, Instagram handle and Twitter, Young Creole. That's Creole with an underscore at the end, Y-U-N-G. Uh, New Orleans native, currently residing out in Texas. Of course, Houston to be exact. Um, and yeah, man. Doing like everybody else, just doing my deeds to get by in life, you know what I'm saying? I strictly develop my actual self, not only within the actual hobby of my business, but it's always been, you know, something that I actually love and patch behind, but yeah, turned it around. What is up? Uh, all right, y'all, I'm on here too. It's me and J-Lo. We're going to be going uh, doing this interview. Yes, sir. Uh, the reason why we really, I, I, I really thought about you when I... Wanted to do an interview, bro, because uh, I know that you're a hard worker, and I know that you you really stand on your craft, bro. Like for real, like nah, for real, like since I met you, you've been you've been working, like you've been. I ain't never, I ain't never like seen you put out no bad negative shit to people. So like you, you really like a a person who can give advice to people that don't, so they don't have to go out and. Just do bad shit to get to, you know what I'm saying? To, why can I say it? To get on with life, like to to be good in life, like you know what I'm saying? To get by in life, like so. Even if like even your background, where you came from, mm -hmm. that don't mean nothing. So you know what I'm saying? We wanna we wanna get into that. We wanna get into, you know, tell tell really tell who who you are. Like just like you say, you from New Orleans. Like how was that? Of um. I mean, I love the city, of course. Everything about the city and everything. Growing up life, I ain't gonna say that cellar was hard, you know? Like, I lived the yeah, average life like everybody, you know what I'm saying? But, um, came out here, 2005. No, let's, let's, stay, no, let's, let's stay in, let's stay in, in New Orleans right now. Let's stay, let's... Oh, just within the city? I mean... Like, how was it just growing up? Like, as a younger age, what's your, what's your youngest memory? Youngest memory, I mean, I was more, I definitely was an outside, you know what I'm saying, kid, definitely hanging with, you know, a couple friends and stuff like that to where I stayed on the West Bank. On the West Bank, you got your different zones within the walls, of course, some areas bad, some areas decent. I stayed in LJ, so I guess you could kind of say, you know, that's kind of the spring area, quote unquote, okay. you know what I'm saying? But um, growing up. I mean, you know, I, I can't front and lie like everybody else say, oh, it was hard, I ate noodles, this and that. Uh, I had a decent lifestyle. Your parents work. worked? Be, yeah, both yeah. of my parents actually worked. Uh, dad worked all show, mom's uh, work uh, for the post office when we was actually in New Orleans. Oh, okay. She came out here, of course, afterwards or whatever, and just kind of been different jobs in between here and now. But yeah, for the most part, you know, I was in a hard I had that uh that background, even with Pops. Uh, I had my uh, granddad, call him Crip, on the actual ballroom, you know what I'm saying, New Orleans. So we come from, you know, I guess you could say a business structure uh, background of right. just do your own thing, you know what I'm saying, as far as just never be hungry, never be starving, you know, just always look for your next dollar, your next meal, all of that, you know? So you, you had... Um you had a influence, that's I guess what you can say, like... I guess you can say it, but at the same time, I don't know, it may just be the bloodline. Like, it just may be within, you know what I'm saying, the, the, the family itself. I feel like everybody in my family hard, you know, workers, hustlers, go-getters, whatever it may be. You know, legal and illegal, you right. know what I'm saying, whatever it may be. But, yeah, it's never been, you know, nobody else sitting on the ass all day. Mm -hmm. Whether you won't count myself, you know, uh, nephews, uncles. Whoever it may be, you know what I'm saying? That that song your bloodline stiff. You know what I'm okay, saying? Okay.